You're good. Let's say good morning, but it's good evening to everybody over there. <laughs> um, it's only nine o'clock in the morning here. Um, okay, so um, I've got witness to, uh, first of all, I was brought up to believe in God. So um, my uh, my mum went to church and took us girls to church. So um, I always believed that there was a God. Um, I tried myself, um, like I went to Sunday school when I was a child and all that sort of stuff and just learned all the basic stuff. But um, that was about it really. Um, I just went through my life as a teenager, not really um, believing in God, but not really knowing where he was or how to have a relationship with him. And so um, when I was, I think, well, in 1978, my mum and dad actually came to the Lord through my auntie. So my auntie witnessed to mum and dad. They got baptised in spirit field, which was amazing because mum used to go to church and dad never did, um, very rarely. Um, but dad started, um, he stopped smoking, you know, stopped swearing. Um, um, they had a relationship with God and I could see that. I could see that they were, um, had this um, personal relationship with God. It wasn't just this airy-fairy going to church sort of thing, you know. And um, I watched them for a while. Um, I, I had already tried to um, sort of uh, get closer with God um, in, in my teenage years. I gave my heart to the Lord um, at some big uh, Christian crusade thing. I um, uh, watched, I joined a, a, a Bible study group, went to Bible study, um, watched their baptisms, which this is a group um, in the Methodist church, and they went down to the beach and they used to baptise people down the beach by full immersion. So they sort of had things right, you know, a lot of them were speaking in tongues, but they were still going to the Methodist church, they, they kept it quiet, it was just a quiet thing that they did on the side. So I saw all these things and I was sort of partly involved with them, tried to do this Bible study and all that sort of stuff, but I nobody really told me that I had to be baptised or I had to receive the, the Holy Spirit. So I sort of just got a bit disillusioned with everything, you know, to do with church. So I went on a merry way. Um, I got a boyfriend. I started drinking and smoking, um, partying on the weekends and all that sort of thing. I was working at that stage. And... Um, so I, you know, started down that path, but deep down, I always knew that there was a God. So um, when my parents came to the Lord in 1978 in Adelaide, um, I watched them and I could see a testimony in them and I saw how their lives had really changed. So I watched them for about a year, but within that year, um, uh, I, first of all, I'd seen my, um, seen my parents change, but also my auntie, she, she'd fallen pregnant. And after years of, I think it was seven, 11 years or something rather, of not being able to have children, she fell pregnant. So that convinced sort of my parents and my uncle and that they all got baptized at the same time. I went to their baptism and um, um, I just stood there and cried the whole, right through the baptism um, because it just pricked my heart. I knew that it was right, but I still didn't want to do it yet. I thought when I was old, like them, they were probably only in their 30s or 40s. <laughs> and when I was old like them, then I would sort of, then I would find God. But, you know, I wanted to have fun first. So um, I sort of waited for a whole year. I sort of um, got more miserable, more miserable. I didn't really want to live anymore. Um, they, I kept this from everybody. Um, I just used to walk around the streets crying, knowing there was a God, but not knowing how to really how to get to him. I don't know. I, I was just very confused. I didn't fit in the world and I didn't fit in the church. And then um, one night I just thought, right, okay, I'm going to go and get baptised at the Vogue Theatre in Adelaide. So I went and did that. Um, and again, without anyone knowing, I just went there and did it all off my own accord. I didn't want any fuss. I didn't want any, you know, um, all of that. I just wanted to do it by myself. So I went and did that. Um, straight away, I knew I had a weight lifted off my shoulder. I knew that I'd done the right thing. I knew where my life was headed. I knew that there was a God and that I had a personal relationship with him then. It was all sort of confirmed when I spoke in tongues. And um, so from that time on, it was another two weeks, actually, when I received the spirit. But I got baptized first, received the spirit two weeks later um, and uh, instantly healed of two blades on my toes. Um, instantly knew that where my life was headed and I knew that I'd done the right thing. It was a real relief actually. And the Lord just really um, just 
I don't know, just turned my life around totally, took the swearing away, took the um, two packets of cigarettes I was smoking, took that desire away. After my baptism, I actually went out and lit up a cigarette, not even thinking, and um, lit up a cigarette and that tasted horrible. Lit up another one, that tasted horrible. So the Lord just took it away straight away, instantly, with no withdrawals or anything. Um, took um, my swearing away, took my, just turned everything around. And um, yeah, from that time on, um, I had a, a peace and a joy. I had this, uh, like the scriptures say that that joy that you know the joy that you get even in situations that are that are, that can be bad and think I've had that right through my life the peace and the comfort that the Holy Spirit gives you, um, you know been through different things with with within the family my sister passed away when she was quite young, um, in the Lord and um, the Lord just gave me a real peace about that. Um, initially obviously it's horrible and everything and you're gonna you know it's just horrible you, you want to change places with them and all sorts of things but the Lord just gave me a total piece about that she was in the Lord and you know I just knew that the next time she opened her eyes she was going to see the Lord you know and and that that to me was such a comfort and to my parents as well um, but you know just just so many things through my walk um, the Lord has um healed me he healed my children he found me a husband in the Lord just after I come to the Lord probably a year later we were I met Tim sort of I don't know nine ten months later and and so we got married you know just after that um and we've been married now for over 40 we got married in 1980 so we're how 40 something 42. years 42 years <laughs> and um the Lord's just really blessed it you know we're on the same path we're on the same page um we want the same thing and the Lord has just really blessed that union, you know, he's put us together and we've been able to just serve the Lord <coughs> together. And, um, you know, that's a real blessing. You know, he's, he's looked after us. He's, he's um, used us in all different ways. You know, we've been able to travel a little bit overseas and just see um, people come to the Lord and um, just their lives change and just to be involved with all of that. Like that's, that's, what is worth it you know you like you go for years in the lord but it just gets more exciting every day that you're in the lord you know the lord just reveals things to you in his scriptures and through the word through the um uh, the meetings and the gifts and everything and through people's testimonies and he just reveals things every day he blesses every day and it's just an amazing life to be in the lord just praise the lord amen, amen.